Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, today. We thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name, Jesus. Bring us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Lord, through revelation and information from revelation. In Jesus' name, amen. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall, and I'm in Northern California. It's 12, 16, 2020. I call this a 3-7 day because of the 1-2 and the 1-6, but if that doesn't make sense to you, I understand it's 10.24 a.m. and that's Pacific Standard Time. So you're looking at spy planes on your screen. I will remember to hit Premiere this time. Last time I uh, it escaped me on the hour log video. So I'll remember to hit Premiere on this one so that uh, we could chat together as, as we uh, replay it together. And I'll be in chat. Um, please hit the like button and share this message. It's so important. People need to be woken up. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying they can and they will be woken up. So also consider subscribing to this channel and also my backup channel. This morning, upon awakening, before I even sat up, before I even got out of bed, the Lord showed me a vision. And in this vision was this huge spy plane. It was huge. And it had four. So here's a picture of some uh, spy planes. This is the Global Hawk, I believe it's called. This is the U-2. They call it Dragon Lady, is its code word, Dragon Lady. And so the one I saw, I'll explain to you. This This one right here you see the round uh the round satellite type dish at the top or microwave or whatever it may be I believe it's satellite radar we we had one of these on the aircraft carrier i was on uh in the u.s navy this one is saying that it's chinese military so i found that interesting that the picture i found is chinese military i do not know what nation that this this plane was from but you see the round satellite type thing i'll call it on the top there was four of them and they were there was two on the left side and two on the right side and they were huge and it was flying with these four big round satellites and the the immediate revelation and understanding I got, please listen, was was that it was spying on Americans. And, and in, specifically, it was spying on those who had been marked or not. That's what I just instantly knew. That, that Remember we talked about fallen angel technology and obelisks and all these gates everywhere and portals across the world and how I believe that the government is using this fallen angel technology to communicate. Well, what they were doing was spying high above in the sky where it's not even visible. But how many people know that we serve a good God and he will expose darkness while, while we're still here as the light. He will show us these things in advance. So I believe this happens after the national emergency is imposed, the martial law is imposed. I believe they're going to be looking for Christians. And they're going to know if you're a Christian or not. They'll just know. And I believe this is, uh, is regarding the mark of the beast. That they'll literally be looking for Christians. It sounds so crazy and far away. But let me, uh, let me continue on this so I can show you what else the Holy Spirit revealed to me. Because I do believe, I do believe that this also, this vision had a dual meaning. It was spying on people. It was spying on Christians. But it was also setting up the war. It was gathering intelligence through artificial intelligence to, to uh, plan the coming war. So I said, Lord Jesus, I'm like, Lord Jesus, please show me what this means and show me what this means. And, and, uh, and he immediately showed the local Air Force base here. You're, you're looking at a picture of it. I, I'll show you. Hold on. This is what I'm going to do. 
So I'm going to put in, remember this obelisk lake, and we'll see if we come back to it. Here's Yosemite Valley. Look it. This stuff's amazing. I mean, it just jumps out. I've had this up for about a half hour now, and it just jumps up. Look, El Portal. You know what I th believe that means? The door. The door. I'm not kidding you. El Portal. Someone let me know in the comment section. So here's Yosemite Valley. And so the Lord led me to a message on Yosemite Valley I'd given, and we're going to listen to it in full. But here's Obelisk Lake. So I'm just going to show you this area. Sierra Nevada Mountains. I also have a prophecy regarding this. There's one in Grass Valley, uh, Nevada County area here where I live. And there's also another one in the Spain area. The Spain area. So I'm not going to mention verbally the name of the Air Force Base. If you happen to see it, that's fine. I just don't want to speak it out. None of this is classified that I'm about to show you. So, uh, so the Holy Spirit was taking me through the process of the revelation of the meaning of the vision. And he had me go search this Air Force Base here that you see on your screen. And I come down here and I'm just looking at everything like I always do. Here's Lone Tree Elementary School. Here's Foothills Chapel, and down here, it says Subway. And I was amazed. I'm like, oh my gosh, they have a Subway? I was thinking about an underground, an underground tunnel. That's what Subways are, right? I'm thinking they have underground tunnels at Beale. And then I kind of laughed because I realized this is probably a Subway sandwich. This is a Subway sandwich place. How silly of me. So I went back to my prayer closet and I'm like, Lord, what are you trying to show your people? The Lord ain't going to just give me a vision upon waking and not have it any relevance to it at all. So I pressed in and prayed harder and it was like this darkness was trying to push this message back. But I pressed on in Jesus name. I'm telling you, I pressed on in Jesus name. And he said, no, it's not. It, it's There really is underground tunnels there, Paul. So then I researched it and you know what? There are. There are underground tunnels. Let me try this real quick. We'll come back to Google Earth. I don't think it's going to let me go there. So let's see if it is a subway sandwich. Sometimes you notice when you use Google Earth, it goes flat like this. And other times it doesn't. taking a quick look you really can't tell but it's something there um but but anyway so i come out here and i google uh underground tunnels at that air force base and you know what they exist and so i come upon this article and now now watch how the holy spirit speaks this is this is three items in just just from one flash vision of a spy plane and I'm told it's spying on Christians, come all three of these confirmations. All three of these confirmations. I'm going to read it. See how many in the comment box you can notice. Pause right now and let me know in the comment box. What, what three do you notice? I'll show you what I notice. It says the bases cost a total of $40 million, That was back then. And were look, activated in April. Look, April. And you know, I've been talking about April. It says with inflation, the complexes would cost more than $307 million today. So this article, I mean, activated in April, really. Uh, so here's, here's the 40, 40 days, 40 days, 40 days. Here's the 37, meaning war, right here. 307 and and here's April right there instantly three confirmations so I'm going to show you some pictures here I mean this is fascinating these are these are older missile silos and there are underground tunnels there I mean it says from the surface the base looks unassuming 
but much lies below these launch doors. These are missile silos. Remember, the Lord had showed me uh, a vision just yesterday of missiles coming up out of the ground. But this, these are like abandoned missiles from the Cold War. Does everybody see this Cold War? So they had Titan I missiles. And, uh, and, and then they switched to Titan II missiles. I don't know if they ever went to Titan III. I just honestly don't follow that stuff anymore. But let's find out. See if there's a Titan III. Are we still using Titan II? Does anybody know? Oh, that's a Let's put Titan III missile. Attack on Titan III military divisions. The military within the walls is divided into three divisions. The Garrison Regiment, the Survey Corps, and the Military Police Brigade. Or, uh, I wonder if this is some type of game or something. Titan three. Let's go back to my. This is why I like having uh, time to do this and not have to rush. Titan three missile. I honestly, I don't even know if it's uh, out or not. If this is just referring to some video game or what replaced the Titan two missile? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Titan rocket family. Expendable rockets, Titan 1 and 2. So let's see. Glen L. Martin Company. Primary users, United States Air Force and NASA. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait. What does NASA need with missiles? So that's new. Are Titan missiles still active? During the Cold War? No, it's not. There's a, a museum of them in Green Valley, Arizona. What replaced the Titan II missile? Here we go. The UGGS was already in use on the Titan III space launcher. What? When work began in March 1978 to replace the Titan II guidance system, the main reason was to reduce the clocks. Blah, blah, blah. So, Titan III space launcher this is getting interesting i'm going somewhere with this let's go anybody voyager one look cape canaveral so already getting this is uh florida an area i've been shown this says titan 3c this is titan Three rockets, so this is getting interesting. What if this is what I saw coming up from the ground? It was something like this. It looked to me like a missile. Can these things be loaded with armed payloads? So let me continue. So I began to look at these missiles, and, and I got this from this... Uh, it says, take a tour of an abandoned, look, underground subway. That's what I thought of, underground Cold War missile base. And then I saw this. This is from 2014. But look at the time. 737. On to the next bit. So this article posts just one hour ago, and that's when I knew it. Yeah, the Holy Spirit is leading you into something. It's 10.37 a.m. on 12, 16. The Holy Spirit's leading you into seeing something. And so I'm like, well, reveal, Lord. Went back to my prayer closet, prayed more and prayed more. And this article just posted an hour ago on today's date. It says, Air Force uses artificial intelligence on military flight for the first time. This is probably what I saw. This is probably what I saw in the vision. It says, AI-controlled sensor and navigation systems aboard a U-2 Dragon Lady. And you know where they fly them out of? 
the Air Force Base I'm showing you right here. That's where that's where they fly out of. I mean, is God amazing or not? Come on, somebody. Give him praise. Give him glory. We praise you, God. He's warning us in advance. So it says that the, the co-pilot was actually artificial intelligence for the first time. So we let we let artificial intelligence control this huge, monstrous spy plane. I mean, the whole thing is just weird. And look where it was flown by. It used the call sign Voodoo. Does that disturb anybody else but me using the call sign Voodoo? So it's a major assigned to the 9th Reconnaissance Wing at the Air Force Base I'm showing you. The, al the AI algorithm it, it used is R2-D2, a reference to Star Wars. So I'll show you this article. Let's move on. So then here's a thing on... Uh, on the YouTube, and it talks again about the Soviet Union, China, Vietnam, and Cuba, and uh, made by Lockheed. So remember that Cuba, because I have a message on that. Let's continue on. So then I heard about this SR-72. You've heard of the SR-71 Blackbird, right? Well, here's the SR-72, and the question being posed by RealClearDefense.com is, could a Mach 5, so it flies at Mach 5 speed, SR-72 spy plane already be in the sky? And I'm taking all of this in. Here's a picture of it. Like, all of this from just a short 10-second vision from God. I mean, I'm seeing other things, too. It says in the late 1990s, the SR-71 Blackbird, world's fastest, highest flying plane ever, was retired, perhaps preemptively. And then it talks about the SR-271 uh, made by Skunk Works, that it's twice as fast. So this thing, what used, what used right here, let me quote him. Satellites can take up to 24 hours. So we're talking about spying satellites, right? or armed satellites. Satellites can take up to 24 hours to get into the correct place in their orbit, which is considerably slower than the SR-71 Blackboard, which can make LA to DC in just over an hour. From LA to DC in over an hour. So just think how fast the 72 flies. It's up there somewhere. They're not telling us about it, but it, it flies at, look, hypersonic speeds hypersonic speeds Mach 5 and above okay when it says it requires a Cape Canaveral like countdown just looking for more things here I see Fort Worth Texas here I see skunk works Palmdale California let's see if we can put this skunk works because it sounds like it stinks Let's see if we can. Uh, so this would be the Blackbird SR-71 successor. And many people are saying that it's already out there. So let's put Skunk Works in here and see if it's able to bring anything up. It does. Looks like the Bay Area. So this is Silicon Valley area. San Jose, etc. South of San Francisco. East Palo Alto. East Palo Alto is no joke, man. I'm just let you know. Skunk Works. Look at 555 Hamilton Avenue. 555 Hamilton Avenue. I wonder what 555 is in Strong's. Let's figure out. Five, five. I would think it would have something to do with grace, right? Maybe that grace is going away. The age of grace is ending. A putting off. A 
putting off Greek, Hebrew 555 says omits. Omits. What are omits? Transliteration omits. Not me. Anybody know what an omit is? Let's go back to our map. Holy Spirit, we decrease so that you can increase, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, let's pray, saints. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, there is an omit somewhere. It's in the middle of the ocean. Is that what just happened? What was that? see is this it wasn't that just weird what if it was the Maldives <laughs> I'm just amazed Cape Verde oh, I just took us to the middle of the ocean oh um. This is the United States, you know what this is? Cuba, down here, this area somewhere in Florida. And then... No way, no way, no way. Hold up, Holy Spirit. We praise you, Jesus. Is this going to be the Strait of Magellan? Is it really? In Spain that I just mentioned. Yep, look. Come on, somebody, man. Get excited. Ohm it. Here it is. It wasn't good. It wouldn't take us to Omit, but there it is. Look what it is. Sierra Nevada Mountains. I have the Holy Spirit all over me. It's Sierra Nevada. Uh, Sierra Nevada Mountains. But there's one over by the Air Force Base I just mentioned. So what's this Omit? What's this about? It says Valencian uh, community. Valencia. Ibiza. So this is Spain, right? Yeah, here's Madrid. Here's Guadalajara. And what's this? Oh, man. I mean, nothing is irrelevant. Housing development. Any airports near here? looking more I didn't want to play any music in the background because it would have had to have been a long song and I didn't want to risk any copyright so we we'll just have to make our own music Holy Spirit come you know what song I like here I am to worship here I am to bow down here I am to say that you're my God. So that was the Strait of Magellan. Pretty sure. Gibraltar, I mean, I keep saying Magellan. Strait of Gibraltar. What's really, really interesting I found about this that I don't hear many people talking about that this is exactly like 777 miles across. Let me see if I can Google that. Gibraltar. If it's two sevens or three sevens. Not straight out of Compton, straight out of Gibraltar. Straight of Magellan's in Chile. Let's see if we can bring this up. Strait of Gibraltar as seen from space. The Iberian Peninsula, it's called. The two continents are separated by 13 kilometers, 8.1 miles, or look, 7 nautical miles. It's actually 7.7 .7 nautical miles. I remember reading about this. This is the... This is the... 
the the vision I had about that last ship going through here with red dust. So let's continue on. Spy plane being flown by AR. Skunk Works, Cape Canaveral, and Sierra Nevada is what I was showing you. So let's go back to, let's put in Obelisk. I'm sure they're in Spain too. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that. Here, hey look, none over there. Where's it taking? It's going to take us back to that obelisk lake. It sure is. That's something, ain't it? United. What's this? Untian Nations. What does that mean? It looks like United Nations, doesn't it? 1140 Market Street, 95103. So look, it took us, it took us, you just can't make this stuff up, y'all. It took us from one Sierra Nevada mountains to another Sierra Nevada mountains. Down in north of Merced, uh, Merced. Isn't this where all the earthquakes are hitting down in Minot, uh, Nevada or something? I think I'm going to drop down and is this SFO right here? It's Oakland International Airport. I think I'm going to take a drop down here and see what this is out of curiosity more than anything. We'll continue on. Untian Nations. I think someone spelled it wrong. What's an Untian? I'll Google it. I'll Google something in a minute, yo. <laughs> Looks like wreckage. I mean, what is that? What is that? What's Untian? No way, Union Square. Say Untian. Okay. Let's see what's it look. American Postal Workers Union. That's the package is being delivered. San Francisco Firefighters. Unite here. It says. Unite here. What does that mean? 209 Golden Gate Avenue, 94102. I have no idea what Untian is. But we're moving on. Oh, so let's go to this. So then I go back. This is my third time I'm going back into my prayer closet, right? And I'm seeking more information and more information. Clarity. Lord Jesus, because I just feel his presence right now. I'm like, Jesus, that I just, I just got silent. No more asking, just silently listening. And I heard him say, Genesis 4. And so here's Genesis 4. And the part I find really interesting says, 17. It says, And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch, and he builded a city. So, what's really interesting is Enoch, this is crazy, Enoch in Genesis 4 built a city. And so, what I'm trying to find now and where I'm at now is what city was it? And called the name of the city after his son, Enoch. So, wasn't the Garden of Eden originally in the Iran area? 
Does anybody know? So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over near the Iran area. I'd heard that the Gardner beating was, is really hidden in Iran. I don't know if that's true or not, but I imagine it would be over there somewhere. So I'm just going to come to the general area because Israel is also over here too. And then I'm going to put in Enoch. Let's see what it says. I'm going to put in Enoch. Because they said that was the name of the city he built. He named it after his first son. Enoch. Here I am. There's an Enoch, Utah. Enochville, North Carolina. Enoch, South Africa. Well, let's see where it takes us. Should be a one around here somewhere. Right? Oh, we're flying back. Here we go. Hold on, y'all. Sudden launch. Enoch Engineering Services, Inc. Which just matches. Oh no. Is this Roseville, California? You know, I have an appointment. I have an appointment in Roseville, California. In two hours. Is that right? No, I leave in two hours. I have two hours. Is this Roseville? How can this be? And what are these? Crop circle looking things. Maybe it's not Roseville. It is. You know where you know where it just took me to? Where my appointment is at two o'clock here. I'm leaving at one. I mean, how can all this be? What are we what's God showing us? What really what is he? What is this? It just matches with there's one more little ten minute video I need to show you too. But I mean It looks like a street. What does that say? Does that say three eight? Three eight in that blue O? Enoch. Maybe I'm supposed to do some witnessing in Roseville. I don't know. I will, though. I'll bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to my appointment today. Really unsuspecting there. Here I am. So I'm going to go now to this video. Remember when I kept talking about Yosemite area? Yosemite, I'll show you so we can tie this in. I'm going to play 10 minutes of this video in closing and see if the Holy Spirit adds anything. But it was June 17th, 2016. And the title is Zamora, the Battle of Zamora, Obama, Yosemite, because he was trying to rename Yosemite or did rename Yosemite or something. Anybody remember that? He was going around renaming all these national parks and monuments and stuff. It was really weird. The U.S., Saudi Arabia, and those who kill. And what I found first and foremost was it's the Georgia. 40 day the 40 day day 40 prayer video of georgia again coming up but this time i'm showing it in the background it's not the main video so i want to come over here and put yosemite and then you'll see why when you see that sierra nevada mountain area which is now shown up twice and remember this all just started from a vision All just started from a vision of a surveillance spy plane. So it's up in here somewhere. There's that lake again, remember? 
Okay, so from there, we go to here. I'll turn it up. Please be in prayer over this. And again, it's so important that we like this video and share it so we can get this word out. Because I'm telling you, God is about to reveal something amazing. I haven't listened to this video in four years. It's from 2016. Let's see what the Holy Spirit was speaking. California. It's uh, 6 17 16, and it's 10 05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is a Friday, and I'm out in Northern California. Last night on the, the local news here, I, I saw something that has disturbed me ever since then. For literally over 12 hours now, my spirit has been disturbed over this, and as I woke up, I want to. I want to ask everybody to come together and, and pray over this. And some people say, how do we pray? Pray Psalm 9 and well protection over your home. Pray for your loved ones. Pray, pray people repent. And pray that God's will be done. Because I don't know about you, but I'm ready. Before I maximize that, I just noticed this over here. Urgent intercession, day 42. Flaming sword, ISIS attack near something. And it looks like space. You see that? And then this one down here, Yellowstone, Montana, is hit with a powerful 4.3 earthquake. If I remember, I'll go check out that day 42. Let's go back. Get up out of here. Hey, man, let's get up, get up, get up. Let's get up out get up, of here. Get up, get up, get up on get out, up of out of here. Literally, man, can we yes, get up out of Jesus, here? Yes, Jesus, let's get up on Let out of here. say that again. Can we get, get up, up out on of it. here? Let's go, Jesus. If not, man, let's... uh. <laughs> let's buckle up because we're fixing to go for a ride I have great concerns over this weekend and uh, this is going to sound crazy but you know what what does it sound crazy in the in the summer of 2016 I want to go back to uh, you know what this, this weekend is it's the December 18th deadline day 40 of prayer and today is day 44 and I don't think it's any coincidence that Obama's the 44th president. I'm going to uh, release the day 44 prayer of after this video. But I just have to touch on this. I have to. So today, I've been just so so people, have, they come to this video and they're watching it for the first time. They might under, not understand. But for 44 days now, I've been laying on my face in the presence of the Lord interceding for this nation in this world and for other people in any revelation that I received during these 44 days, sometimes twice a day that I've prayed, uh, I, I write down like you see in front of you and I share it with others. So when I heard that Obama was going to spend the weekend in my backyard, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. I mean, this stuff's getting way too real. He literally is going to spend the weekend here in California in my backyard. Um, I feel like I need to share this. And I'm sharing it in peace, love, and joy. So I'm going to go back to day 40 of prayer, which was four days ago. So I remember this Obama, for whatever reason, was going to spend the night in Yosemite with his, his husband or whatever, or wife. Hello? No, you can scare me, my head. We need some excitement out here. <laughs> what are you doing? You can listen. You can stay. You can bring me treats. Whatever you want to do. Are you just kind of wandering? Wandering. Because she's the wanderer. Hey, let's sing our thing before you do that. How how'd it go? Oh, Lord, heal me. And I will be healed. Save me, and I shall be. Why are you going so slow here? Let's start all over because we're way out of sync. It was sounding horrible. Okay, go. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. Thank you. I love you, my head. I believe in miracles. 
Go ba ba. I got the camera off when you just did that. No, I didn't. <laughs> she did a little dance. Today being the 44th day, and I'm going to share with you what was revealed to me by the Holy Spirit on that day of prayer, and then upload today's day of prayer later. You ready? This is what I said. Very clear. No doubt in this at all. No fear. In I'm going to turn it up a little for y'all. Something exciting is in the air. One thing I know, I'm going to tell you, we're going to be talking about this Sunday again. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm like five subscribers away from 46.4. 46, 46,400. It'll be the first time all year of 2020. I'd like to be able to do it before this year ends. Just be able to advance to the next dot. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know, there's you know, there's a lot more people than that listen to that YouTube, YouTube. And this at all, it was just it is what it is. What he said, he said, true and righteous are my judgments that I execute unto you. He said it like this: Watch, true and righteous are my judgments that I execute unto you. Yes. I'm going to say that again, unto you, and I was taking it like upon me, you know, S.A., as in U.S.A., and I immediately, in only a way God can do, my mind can't do this, it, I understood that he was talking about the church when he said you, he was talking about the judgment upon the church are true and righteous and Remember, what does my word declare, he said? It declares righteous judgment, and it declares that judgment begins at the house of God. And then, and then there's so much specific, intense, end-time, deep revelation coming forth through prophecy in the spirit of prophecy. I took it immediately to understand that not only did this talk about the church, but it also represented you, the USA, and then SA, the in Saudi Arabia. In other words, from here, where I'm at, Northern California, all the way to Saudi Arabia, it specifically mentioned these two areas. Okay, so the United States and Saudi Arabia. And prior to that, if you look up on here, the Lord had told me, beware the battle of Zamora. Never heard of it. It was clearly from the Lord. I don't even know what never heard the words of Mora ever in my life. But if you see right up here a little earlier where the cursor is, where it says a second dream, I had a dream and a man, we were on a, we were on a ship and we we're at war. And the man, and uh, the man told me, beware the battle of Zamora. I have since learned that this is an area in Spain. It's also an area in California. If someone wants to what? Google Earth that, see where it's at. Did you just hear that? It's an area in Spain and California. That's just the two locations the Holy Spirit led to us on Google Earth. Are you Someone ought to give a praise. You know, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. You know, he has an escape plan for us. People keep saying he doesn't and trying to steal your hope. But you need to hope in Jesus Christ and not YouTube comments. I mean, if we're, if we're hanging on a thread just by what someone's saying on YouTube, man, we're all lost. But we're hanging on to the hem of his garment because we could launch out of here. Let's see what Zamora does. And it's going back to Spain. I thought there was one in California. Well, let's see where we are. Again, it has this lake running through it, like the River Thames or Thames, whichever one it is. Is there an airport down here? Is there a Hobelisks? <laughs> I don't think they have obelisks in Spain. It didn't show any last time, but the Lord wants us to check again. Again. Fallen angel technology. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. See, everything happens for a reason. Fallen angel technology. Whoa. Back to the middle of the ocean again? 
see something this time. North Atlantic Ocean. Fallen Angel. Oh, it's the Azores. Off the coast of Portugal, right? Is that right? Does this say Moderna? Or no, Madeira. So, is it interesting this area doesn't have all? Well, Strike that there is an obelisk. And I wonder what this beat inform informatica Zamora is. Zero six eight hundred Meridia. This is the Sierra Mount, Nevada Mountain area. Yeah, it is. It's the Elulia Obelisk. Fallen Angel. I see it now. You notice how they try to hide them? Fallen. It looks like a missile or a rocket. Fallen Angel Technology. This is what I need to tell you. Fallen Angel Technology being used by governments. Not just government USA. Governments worldwide. And so what the Holy Spirit has shown me. I did like an hour long message on this. Is that they take the fallen angel technology and Freemason technology and then they add in their technology, spy planes and artificial intelligence, and they use it to spy on Christians and give global orders. That's just what I heard from the Spirit of the Lord. Let's take a look around. They're going to spy. We're going to spy out the enemy's camp too. Amen. Let's spy out the enemy's camp. Let's get excited for Jesus. We're going to tear down all these things. This is definitely a strange one. Does that look like an owl? What? Okay, people. little help here. What is this? Probably completely normal. Who's standing at the top? Oh, right away. Spy out the enemy's camp. I mean, look at this. Go back. I am really curious on your comments on this. Is there a way to find out more information? It's almost like a totem pole. And who's that on the top? Is it supposed to be Jesus? I want to do say I love this some of this uh, historic type stuff in these countries here. We don't have a lot of it here, and what we do have are tearing down. Can I get a better look at this? Give me just a little bit of information, please. Plaza, Joan, Mira, Plaza, Joan, Mira. Go up. Star. I'm going to try to. ST. ST. U. A. I think it is. E U L E U L A L I A E U L I L I A E U It's not E U is it? What is this? Let me pause it for a second, bring it up. 
I don't like clouds either. Just going to have to. EU. La la la. E U L A. I think this is it. it says he's a martyr. It's not Jesus. It's fake Jesus. 10 December. It's a feast. Things just took a turn for the weirdness. Julia of Meridia is a young Roman Christian martyred in Emerita. Didn't we go look at that area? Oh, look. Well, here's everything you need to know. During the persecutions of Christians, it just confirms. It just continues to confirm and confirm. December 10th. So we're talking about December again. Canonized 304. Oh, so is this someone they made a saint? That's what this is. They made a saint. I don't. I don't really believe in these uh, statues. I don't get offended. What do you think? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, look at this. The Lord just told me to check something. Lord Jesus, the Lord just told me, go check for obelisk at the Vatican. That the Vatican has a telescope. This is all tying in now. They're not only spying on us through uh, military planes high above us and these cell towers, like the Holy Spirit showing me cell towers that stand up like obelisks, what are disguised now, that all this communication is running around and it ties into the Vatican. A walled city that will come under siege. A walled city that will come under siege, I heard the Holy Spirit saying. We're going to go take a look at that. So they have the Lucifer telescope, and in the Vax, there's Luciferese. This is making so much sense. Look at this. Isis, Apollo, Venus. Oh, here, here it is uh, in English. Isis. Major goddess in ancient Egyptian religion who worship spread throughout the Greco Roman world. Right, come on, let's give God a hand. Let's pause right now and give God a hand clap and stay focused on Jesus because all of this started from a 10 second vision. A 10 second vision. If he shows you something, he's going to reveal its meaning. If you're being shown things, you need to go back and pray for their meaning because look at this strange trip. It's 1116. Look at this strange trip he's taken us on. It's wonderful. It's powerful. So what is this about Isis, Apollo, and Venus? Greek gods for sure, but does it have anything to do with the conjunction coming up? It's Apollo Venus in space, in the sky. What are the planets that are supposed to conjunct again? Is it Saturn and Venus? Blood red moon, you see that? Hey, where is this at? Lunar eclipse. Centuries longest blood moon. Delight sky gaze. I so he's showing a blood moon. Oh no. And look at this. It's Armenia. Soldiers captured in raid. This is the war that the Holy Spirit told me started on 9-27-2020. Restarted. It's 
That's all making sense there. Just doing a quick check. How we got to that, only God knows. Vatican lowercase v for me. Oh, get it? V, v, the v. Vatican. And our hypersonic flight on the SR-37. Oh, this area is just wrong. Okay, so is this the uh, obelisk in the middle of this thing? Sure is. So, this area is a, a Luciferian, I'm just going to say it like I hear it, a Luciferian communication device. Combined with telescopic power of unprecedented proportion to communicate with fallen angels. Go ahead, get back. They're going to do me none. I mean, we ain't got the truth. We ain't got nothing. Look, it's surrounded by like uh, defensive things now. Okay, just got really creepy down here. Let's get out. Look at all those people standing up there. So here it is. Oh, yeah. It's level four type creepy. What's on the top of it? Okay, this area creeps me out. Let's go back to the video. California. And that it was an actual real battle. And I want to thank everybody that helped me get to the the bottom of this, so to speak. This was an actual real ba a battle of Christians versus mu Muslims hundreds of years ago. Christians versus Muslims. <clears throat> and so now, I'm going to look up something real quick, but let me just say this. For now, I have learned that, <clears throat> here's the date of this video. That o Obama is scheduled today, right from whitehouse.gov, is very scheduled this day today, 6 17 16 of Friday, is he's going to meet with the Minister of Defense, Mohammed bin Salman, of Saudi Arabia. This is his plan O day, the POD for Barack Hussein Obama is to meet with the Minister of Defense for Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> And it's concerning ISIS, or they call it ISIL, because they want to include catch that? Israel on their map. But God has something to say about that. And then after that meeting, which may or may not have already occurred, I'm not sure yet, uh, the first family will... So Obama is in on the fallen angel technology, probably the head of it. Travel to Carlsbad Caverns National Park to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the creation of America's National Park System. And then they're going to depart from Roswell, New Mexico. No yes, way. you heard me right. Roswell, New Mexico. Are you kidding me? Where they're planning a fake alien invasion and to you... disguise it away as the rapture. And then... What? Are you kidding me? Four years ago. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Whew, we feel like I'm flying. I'm, uh, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for everybody listening uh, at the end of this. I got to hear that again. I mean, all from a 10 second vision. And I feel compelled to ask you again before you hit the like button and comment and subscribe and all these good things that. Loving YouTubers do for Minister Paul. Thank you. And to get the message out for God is really what it is. I don't monetize my videos. Is uh, I want to I want to pray for you. Let, let, at the end, let's uh, let's let's replay this because I've been looking at New Mexico on Google Earth for some time now. You know what Roswell is known for, right? alien invasion and to disguise it away as the rapture 
And then they're going to go to, uh, they're going to go from Roswell, New Mexico to Yosemite National Park, California. And they're going to spend, uh, they're going to spend the weekend there. What was reported here, it says remain overnight. <clears throat> what I Is it that the strangest thing? I remember them on Marine One helicopter flying up out of there near El Capitan. And I'm like, what are they doing? It was a state. You know what they were doing? They were going around setting up New World Order stuff. That's what they were doing. Communicating with fallen angels. I believe he's the Antichrist. There I said it. Can it get any bolder? <laughs> I was told on the local media here was that they were going to spend the weekend in this park and that literally people should people that live nearby should plan not to visit this park this weekend. And it just seems so strange. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to come here? You can be anywhere in the world. You're going to come to your, your Yosemite here three hours from my house. And, and you're just going to, you know, direct people away from the park while you take it over. Matter of fact, something else just dropped in my spirit. Wasn't Obama that wanted to rename something in this park? A lot of revelation is flowing. It seems to me like he wanted to rename something that was in this park. And so, you know what? I looked up the word Yosemite. It called me crazy. Call, just don't call me collect. I'm telling Amen. you the truth of this stuff. Uh, I looked up the word Yosemite. It was bothering me so bad in my spirit. And Yosemite means uh, those who kill. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Those who kill. Killing Christians. Who they, I who think that about says it all. I'll put a link to the video. I want to look up uh, That's what they're doing. some more in California and see how far away it is from Yosemite. Because the Lord's speaking here. And I know this is going to mean something to somebody or I wouldn't be making it. This is a weekend where we need to be buckled up and wraps are ready and prepared to go home and prepared to stay both because I think the reason why I keep saying this week it is this coming weekend let's look at the calendar so Friday's the 18th that's the 45 day deadline to enact the national emergency and then the 19th and 20th and then the 21st this is going to be strange period of days coming up but I was led to do something else too those who kill, let me remember it, Yosemite, those who kill, uh, maybe it'll come back to me. This is going to be a rocking weekend. I mean, the, <laughs> the man of sin is, through, is in my backyard. Yep. <laughs> I'm being real. I mean, it's not funny, but you know, I, I, we have to laugh in the face of adversity, those who kill. Are you kidding me? So in closing, uh, as I prepare to go pray on day 44, what I did, and this is a pretty good image date, it's from March 17, 2016. What I did was I Google Earth Zamora, California, because I heard the Battle of Zamora. And, it, and it's you're, this is going to amaze you. Where Obama is staying in Yosemite, those No way. So you have to have eyes to see and ears to hear. Didn't we Google Strong's 555? Look at this. It's on Interstate 5, south of 505, 555. Does anybody remember why we were Google Earth at that 555 again? Did it have something to do with the, the spy jet? I mean, this is important. I had a vision driving down our I-5 in 2012. It's on here. Fire, flood. It was fire, flood, earthquake, power outage. And then the six seals were opening. That's that's a 20-minute video I just gave you right there in 15 seconds. Kill. <laughs> I mean, they just can't make this stuff up. Those who kill. Where, where he's staying is exactly three hours and seven minutes from my house, my car, and driving. Three, seven, and so more. I Googled some more, and it's also exactly three hours uh, from my, from, uh, you know, from those who kill. Kidding me. Three, four, seven. It actually, look, I, I talk about the number seven a lot. If you had three plus four, that's seven. If you had one plus six, it's seven. That's today's date. 
one six and seven seven is sevens across the board for those who kill to come into our backyard here in Cali where we waited for the next false flag. That's just, that's real and the real deal holy field. And uh, I'll back it out. I'll put it on the map. I'm going to go pray like never before in my life. We need to. <laughs> I mean, those who kill are in our backyard in the area of the next false flag. And we need to get up, get up, get up, get up on out, out of here. here. You know, it, it, get us on out of here. Get up on out of here. And let me just get in my car and, and flee to the hills, man. Wow. <laughs> this stuff is real. Anyway, if you want to join me in prayer, it's going to be in about 30 minutes. Man, we got things to pray about. Amen. Let me pray. There was a time during Jade Helm 15 where people were putting uh, their name in Google Earth and it was popping up locations at Jade Helm. Anybody remember that? Yeah, so you see, put it Jesus and it takes you far away from the Vatican. You see that? <laughs> all the faces in here. Is there anything I could put? Let's pray to the puppies. Not to the Let's pray with the puppies. Something nice and gentle. Dear Heavenly Father, good afternoon. Lord, we seek your presence. Lord, people are seeing how the Holy Spirit can guide them in their lives and give them power and authority and reveal things to them. I've had, dear God, please listen to me, Lord. I intercede for your people right now, dear Jesus. I come to God in Jesus' name, Lord. Please, Holy Spirit, please relate this message to the throne room. I have so many prayer requests for people who are wanting to be fully baptized in the name of Jesus. And I've always known that this can come through the laying on of hands. But Jesus, we are in unprecedented times of lockdowns and you've shown us they're spying on us and using devil technology to communicate and set up a one world order, Lord Jesus. And that's why I continue to say, let's get up on out of here, Jesus. But could you baptize your people? Lift your heads up if you want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Could you baptize your people in the Holy Spirit? I hear the Holy Spirit saying, seek me, seek me, seek me. As you feel the Holy Spirit descend on you, you have to let go of yourself. You, you have to let go of yourself and tap into this Holy Spirit filled power that surrounds you. You should be right now feeling the Holy Spirit literally surrounding you. Begin to praise him. And as you open your mouth, just let this Holy Spirit presence take over your tongue and, and indwell you fully indwelled and baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire and you will receive gifts spiritual gifts and you will know that you know that you know your discernment is correct the holy spirit is here all you have to simply do is receive it if you're trying to do this in your own power you will fail but if you allow God to do it for you, you will receive. Because God, how can we lay hands on people? The God is under lockdown. Lord God, you are mighty. You are holy. You are beyond anything this world would try to do to us, Lord. Send your Holy Spirit down now in the name of Jesus on the people asking for it, Lord. I ask you in Jesus' mighty name to keep your word of the promise 
because darkness has fallen upon the land and we need the lamp, the light, the light in us, Lord, to shine out of us to, so we could find our way out of here through your Holy Spirit, Lord. Guide us and reconcile us back to you. Jesus, we need you. We want to see you. We don't want to be a part of this world or a part of this darkness, Lord. Come and camp with us in these last days. As we see danger on the horizon, I sound the alarm. And I do all this for you and your people, Jesus, as your servant at your feet. Humbly humbled, knowing that thou art God. Amen.